Buffalo horse has been from day one when we had him in training down in Florida all the way up through his two year old year with Bill and he's never let us down any time um, he's, he's a will to win and you know he was on the muscle today and with a great ride by Junior and uh, fantastic training feed by Bill keeping him uh, keeping him in training and having a back-to-back -to -back Breeders' Cup winner is special and there's not too many horses that have done it but I think he uh, he ranks up where up there with all the best of them that have done that as well as a repeat winner and we're so fortunate to have him and so fortunate to share the story with the Dorman family um, we'll be we'll regret the run coming to an end so hopefully uh, there will be great opportunities for the Dormans to come out and visit him at the Stallion Barn when he gets there and hopefully some babies down the road and the Bill is still training uh, <laughs> when that happens we maybe get some babies down the road as well and we can do it again <laughs> So I get to you, Bill, watching the replay, watching this race live, and that move that Junior made when he did, is that something you talked about earlier before the race? No, I, I left that up to him. I mean, you know, I didn't know where he was going to be positioned in the race. Uh, last time he was a little closer. Uh, today, he, you know, it, it looked like more of a repeat of the Breeders' Cup last year. Being a two-turn race, I, I don't know that that's really the best design for him. He's maybe a little better at one turn, but you know, he started him running on the turn and, and I thought, you know, I, I do need to see the rerun again. I haven't seen the re I haven't seen the rerun yet, but you know, you know, the fact that he split horses in the turn uh, could have made the difference. I think it was uh, I think that could have you know, if he goes around he loses, you know, another half a length or so. So uh, it, it was a great ride and a great run by the horse. It was a good effort, and I, I believe, you know, what Junior's told me that once he got his head in front, he wasn't going to let that horse by at any point. And we'll get to Junior now. Off of that, Junior, we just talked about the race, and when you made that move with him, what made you decide to go right at that time? You know, I stopped picking it up. I, I can see the horses, you know, some horses fading, and, you know, for me, I, didn't, I, I couldn't go around. I, 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 I didn't feel that I have the luxury to go around the horses since, you know, this is great one horses. And like I said, once he was helping me, I was like, let me try to cut the corner a little bit, save some ground since he's moving forward. And, you know, I, I did all that and right when I tip him out, you know, he was there for me. And, and like I said, I just think when I got to the other horse, at that point, I just kind of let him know, like, listen, my job is done right here. Just take me the last part. And, and like I said, since I know him, you know, he, I knew he wasn't going to let the other horse go by when he got in front. I want to get to you quickly, Kelly Dorman. This story has captured the hearts of everybody in racing, outside of racing. Just again, what this has meant to your family, the ride that this horse has taken you on. Uh, it's, it's a blessing. I, get, I don't even know if I can even start to describe it. Uh, you know, in a lot of ways, I think, I think that horse probably saved Cody's life in a lot of ways. I know, I know him and the horses made a lot of lives better. And, uh, you know, the, the people that we've got to meet during this process is, uh, you know, first and foremost, the blessing is the day Cody's wish put his head in Cody's lap. The next blessing is all the people we've got to meet, like these guys sitting right here, the fans, the entire horse racing nation has been incredible for us. And we're so thankful and grateful for that. I know we'd like to have some questions. I, I think it's if it if it's not the best, it's certainly a dead heat. I mean, if, you know, it's it's probably one of the most memorable rides, you know, that we've all been on, and and I think it's meant so much to so many different people. You know, sometimes, you know, it's a small group that gets to enjoy the win, but I think this one's been for a lot of people, and thankfully, you know, thank we're very thankful for the Make a Wish Foundation that brought everything together and Godolphin has been terrific. I mean, the team at Godolphin has been so giving and open and, and uh, uh, they were, you know, they were all about, it, you know, uh, about the, the, this whole story and they made the story. Uh, you know, right when I got ne uh, next to National Treasure, you know, I know he, he kind of came out, tried to meet with my horse and, and you know, he started kind of like the brushing and I just think at that point when he's brushing my horse, you know, I had the bigger horse and, and the mean horse probably, and you know, he was trying just to go kind of right after him, you know, trying to keep him straight, but like I said, at that point, I think my horse 
was feeling a little bit of a fight and he tried to go right after the other horse. So, but I, I knew it wasn't nothing really to, to, to change the, the outcome. I mean, my horse was already in front and like I said, he was never going to let the other horse go by again. Well, you know, for me, it's, just, it's, it's been an unbelievable ride. You know, uh, a, whole, a changed career for me and, and I've been very blessed. Just to be part of the team and, and, and you know, just think it had to be this way. We had ended up winning the last race for him and, 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 and I'm just glad that, that we, we got it done today.